while working to reduce congestion on Baltimore's downtown streets. The city will adjust parking meter rates based on the demand for the spots. Tracy Leong explains how some of those rates will go up while others will go down. The parking authority will be reviewing data twice a year to determine which areas have higher demand. Paying more for preferred parking spaces, busier areas will now cost drivers an extra 25 cents an hour. Try to prompt those parkers to park in areas where the parking is a little less expensive and where there's uh, where there's more availability. Baltimore's current rate is two dollars an hour. A recent study showed areas like the Inner Harbor were typically always occupied, creating a headache for drivers unable to find a parking spot. Family and friends who just we just don't come down here anymore because between the parking, the volume, and we'd rather just go out to the suburbs, to the malls, or something, and get some errands run down, run out there. The parking authority is raising the rates on busier roads to free up spaces. And encourage drivers to park in the less popular areas where rates are going down a quarter or staying the same. People will be able to make those choices. Do I want to park closer to those most popular destinations and maybe pay a little bit more? Or uh, am I willing to walk just a couple of blocks and find cheaper parking? However, some drivers believe this adjustment will have little impact and the higher rates will not keep drivers away. Won't have a choice because. If this is what you do, if you want to come to downtown or to the harbor, it's sort of forcing us to pay it if we want to support our city. Baltimore's new approach follows other major cities, including D.C., a model that will be tweaked every six months. The adjusted rates will affect parking spaces in the central business district before it moves to the outer neighborhoods. Reporting in downtown Baltimore, Tracy Leong, WJZ Eyewitness News. And for a map of the impacted parking meters, visit our website, cbsbaltimore.com, and click on this story.